Hello friends, this video on equilibrium part 29 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched all the previous parts. Let's talk about pH scale. So the pH of a solution is nothing but negative logarithm of base 10 to the H plus ion concentration. So you see, if H plus ion concentration is some, something per, per mole liter, the pH is equal to minus A log H. Now the question is why do we have pH? So as I told, if you see, H plus ion concentration in water is what? 10 to the power minus 7 mole. Right? And let's suppose we have some other acid. Let's suppose some acid. In some acid, this is water. In some acid, the H plus ion concentration, let's suppose, 10 to the power minus or 3 into 10 to the power minus 2. You don't know. So writing these things is very difficult, right? In 10 to the power minus 2, 3 into the power minus 2, it's a very complex thing. So what this uh, chemist did was, instead of writing in this form, he is writing the whole thing in minus log of this value, 10 to the power minus 7. Let's say. So this will be what? 7. So saying pH is 7 is better than saying the concentration of H plus ion is 10 to the power minus 7. See, it's still different. See, the concentration of H plus ion, ion in a particular solution is 10 to the power minus 7 m. Saying this in a normal way is very difficult, right? You have to say the concentration of H plus ion in a particular solution is 10 to the power minus 7 m moles per liter. Or if you just say the pH is 7. This is pretty fancy, right? Because with this, see, 10 to the power minus 7, it is all negative generally comes. So you have put, they have put a negative sign here just to make the life simple, right? And to make these things more fancy. So if we don't put negative here, it will become minus 7, but just, just because negative, handling negative value is also difficult. So they have put a negative here, right? So it's just a way to communicate that pH is minus 7, that means pH is 7, that means the concentration of H plus is 10 to the power minus 7. pH is 3, that means concentration of H plus is 10 to the power minus 3 moles per liter. Correct? And there's a pH scale. So if you see 7 is neutral actually here and if you go less than 7 it is acidic more than 7 it is basic and the maximum value is 14 minimum value is 0. Now the question is why pH is equal to 0 is acidic and why pH is equal to 14 is basic. We will take this in the next few slides. Just understand that pH is nothing but just one representation. Normally the concentration is in terms of 10 to the power minus 7 moles per liter, 10 to the power minus 5 moles per liter something like this or 8.382 into 10 to the power minus 11 moles per liter. These are very complex number to represent. So instead of that, what they do is they just find the uh, minus log of this value. And that gives a very good number, maybe 7, 8, 9. So that way it is easy to communicate. Correct. So there's a pH scale. If you see the, in real life, uh, if you want to find the pH, if you see the bleach, which we, uh, we don't use normally, uh, your moms or uh, uh, the sisters may be using the creams that is has the pH 13. The soapy water is has pH 12. The ammonia solution has pH 11. The milk of magnesia has pH 10. Baking soda used in cooking has a pH 9. Sea water, the normal sea water, you go to any beach, the sea water has a pH of 8. It's a little basic. And uh, distilled water has a pH 7. If you see the water, pH itself varies. Distilled water has a pH 7, the neutral water, but the sea water is a little basic. Urine has a pH 6 to be acidic. Coffee, tomato juice, orange juice, lemon juice, gastric acid, all these are acidic. Gastric juice is most acidic, pH 1. So you see in real life we have all these things and uh, different pH. If you want, if you are curious, you can find pH of different stuffs around you. You can take the uh, pH uh, scale meter and you can find the pH of different things, like leaves, water uh, and stuff like that. So as I told, uh, the pH is equal to 0 is very acidic. Why it is so? Why it is that 0 to 7 is acidic and 7 to 14 is basic. Why it is not other way around? See, as I told, pH is nothing but minus log of H plus ion concentration. Correct. So now if pH is equal to 0, what does it mean? 0 means if pH is equal to 0, that means H plus ion concentration is what? 10 to the power minus 0. That is what? That is 1. That means H plus ion has a huge concentration. 
If p is equal to one, s plus ion concentration is what? Ten to the power minus one. Correct. So this becomes because he p s is equal to minus log of h plus or h plus is nothing but p h into ten to the power. Sorry, equal to ten to the power minus p h. Right? If p h is equal to this, so h plus is nothing but it is log to the base ten. So h plus is nothing but ten to the power minus p h. So h plus here, in case p h is equal to zero, h plus concentration is one. In case p h is equal to one. S plus concentration is ten to the power minus one moles per liter. That is little less. If you make pH equal to two, the hydrogen ion concentration is what? It will reduce all the more. It will become ten to the power minus two moles per liter. So if you see the concentration of hydrogen ion is really thin. If you take pH equal to five, what will happen? Hydrogen ion concentration will be all the more less, ten to the power minus five moles per liter. If you take pH equal to seven, same thing. Ten to the power minus seven moles per liter. We take pH equal to ten. It is reducing, if you see right. We take pH equal to fourteen, the max value. The hydrogen ion concentration is all the more less, very very less. So if you see in this case, the hydrogen ion concentration was more than pH was zero. That is almost one. Right for every mole. I mean, every if you see HCl for example, so it breaks completely, right? Into H plus Cl minus. In that case, if you give one mole here, you get almost one mole of H plus ion. It's very strong acid, right? If you take pH equal to one, the hydrogen ion concentration is little less. It's ten to the power minus one mole per liter. That is almost ten percent of the uh, acid got dissociated. Similarly, if you increase the value of pH, you see the hydrogen ion concentration. Goes down. That's why pH equal to zero is very acidic. If you increase the value of pH, the acidic nature goes. There is something called pH paper which is used to find the pH. So you may have used this in some of your labs also. We'll take some examples on pH now. The concentration of hydrogen ion in sample of soft drink is 3.8 in the bar minus 3. What is the pH? So very simple. pH was nothing but minus log of H plus ion concentration. This is my H plus ion concentration. So this becomes minus log of 3.8 into 10 to the power minus 3. And this, if you solve, this becomes 2.42. This is my pH. Very easy. See, pH is nothing but minus log of H plus ion concentration. H plus ion concentration is given 3.8 into 10 to the power minus 3 moles per liter. Just put the value, get the answer. Let's take an example. You need to find the pH for 10 to the power minus 8 m solution of HCl. So it is a dilute solution. It is a dilute solution of HCl. We have to find the pH of this. So you see HCl. If you put in the aqueous, if and if you put water in this, what happens? This breaks into H. Three O plus ion and Cl minus ion. Correct. And now it is saying that it is diluted. So we have water plus water also, which gives H three O plus ion and O H minus ions. Correct. So here H three O plus ion is what? Ten to the power minus. Eight mole. That's a dilution of water. So this is between two minus seven or two is normal water here. This guy becomes two minus seven because it's what says the pH of a ten to the power minus eight m solution. So this is diluted. So this is ten to the power minus eight m only. This is ten to the power minus eight m. It will be ten to the power minus eight m H plus ions. But it has water also. In water, it is ten to the power minus seven is fixed. We know H plus ion concentration, right? So if you see in this case, concentration of this guy, equation one and equation two. If you see equation from equation one, the concentration of H plus ion is more because ten to the power minus seven is more than ten to the power minus eight. Please note here. See the HCl is a strong acid. We know, but it's very very dilute now. It's ten to the power minus eight m solution, right? 
that means pure water if you just have a pure water this guy has 10 to the power minus 7 moles of h plus ions but this acid hcl even though is an acid it has 10 to the power minus 8 m of h plus ions which one is more obviously this guy is more right this guy is less so the second reaction will rule second reaction will rule Right? So in this case the pH will be this guy minus log of 10 to the power minus 7 and this becomes 7. See pH won't be 8. See if you make it pH 8, 8 is nothing but basic. Right? pH, if you see if you could take this value, it comes out to be 8. And pH of HCl is 8 is too, I mean too hard to understand. Right? pH is, is acid. So what we do, since this is very very dilute, what we did was, we found the H plus ion concentration in pure water, because anyway we are using pure water here. So there we saw the H plus ion concentration is more, and the HCl gives a less H plus ion concentration. So anyway we will take the bigger one, because this everything is one solution, right, this, so the pH will come out to be 7. So here we have to find the pH of the sample of vinegar. Uh, the pH is given 3.76. We have to find the concentration of H plus ions. So we have pH is nothing but minus log of H plus ions to the best 10. So this is nothing but H plus ion is nothing but you see 10 to by minus pH. Right? Right, that is nothing but or let's take anti log. You can take this value also, this comes in the 10 power minus 3.76, or this is nothing but 1.7 for the power minus 3. Or let's try the anti log process. So pH is equal to this value. Let's try the anti log way. pH is equal to 3.76 equal to minus log of H plus. So log of H plus is what? minus 3.76 or h plus is nothing but anti log of this okay is nothing but anti log of this is minus so it becomes i think the 4 with the dash 0 0.24 4 with the dash 0 0.24 this is nothing but 1.74 into 10 to the minus 4 this is a better way you can use the anti log Get the thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.